y'all with me on the road I'm on my way to Houston. Um, quick weekend trip to visit my friends in Houston. So I'm about to hit this highway. It's about a four hour drive. So um, I have my snacks, which is basically just Red Bull and some chips. So Red Bull and chips from Cracker Barrel. Um, I have my audiobooks queued up on my iPad mini. Spotify is ready to go. All right, y'all. So no trip is complete until I stop at Homsies, which is a liquor store. But they have what we call boudin. And so I had to give me some boudin and uh, a drink, Big Peach. My life is not complete until I have a Big Peach and some boudin. Oh, it's so greasy. They got boudin balls now too. So I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. So that's the boudin balls that's fried. With boudin, it's just nothing but rice and meat. And it's in a casing, like a sausage casing. Oh, y'all, yeah, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Won't he do it? Got another two hours to go. So I'm in Lake Charles. Um, stopped by my parents' house, which um, was supposed to be like a 10-minute stop. But you know, if you get stop and see your parents. It turned into more like a 45 minute stop because I had to fix my mother's computer because I'm the geek squad around this piece. So, I'm gonna keep on another two hours till I make it to Houston. So, I have, um, I made it to Houston and first stop is the Gallery Mall. Mm -hmm. Now, I had to pick something up from Cotton On. Um, so, I'm about to go in this mall, pick up what I need. Starts off with jury duty this week. Finally got called after I don't know how long. Um, I've never been called for jury duty, and they finally got me. And I tried to get out of it twice, and they're just like, "Nope, you gotta go." So headed to jury duty late, as usual. I'm always late, I'm never on time for anything. So um, I have like twenty. 10 minutes to get all the way on the other side of town. First day of jury duty is done, and it was so damn uneventful. God, I sat in a room all day, <laughs> reading on my iPad and watching movies. Jesus, that, I'm tired from doing nothing. Like, I really didn't do anything, but I feel so tired and just drained of waiting. Okay, so the jury duty um, part of my life has now ended. Um, didn't need me or our whole panel uh, because the guy must have decided not to um, go to trial. Or the defendant, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, whoever. But um, essentially, we were just on standby, like waiting to, dis to figure out whether or not the guy would go the, I keep saying God, but the defendant would go to trial, and uh, apparently a deal was it was made or whatever. So um, they didn't need us. There was no trial to be had, um, and so I have done my civic duty. They like to reiterate that like several several times that you know not it wasn't time wasted. You know we did our civic duty. It's the justice system and on and on and on until the work day is over leaving work headed to my waxing 
Previous pain, but yeah, I'm about that wax in life now. I'll never go back to shaving. All right, so it is 12 at 21, which is kind of early for me, but pretty much done with everything I needed to do today. The podcast is um, edited and being uploaded as we speak. I think it's almost done, pretty much done now. So, upload it. So, it'll be up in the morning. If you've never heard my podcast, you can go to Third Shift Show on Twitter, Facebook. Um, it's Third Shift Show on SoundCloud and on iTunes. Um, and of course, we'll be linked in the description box. Um, so I hope you guys like my podcast with how it how go. Just, <laughs> we just sit around and talk shit all day. It's pretty much what we do the podcast which is fine so um that's about it that's my tuesday let's get ready for tomorrow and go like wash my face get the shower and all that good stuff and um we'll start again tomorrow mm -hmm. so, oh before i go to sleep i wanted to show you guys this um I know candy corn can be such a divisive like topic, but I got these at Fresh Market and they're so good. It's like can it's candy corn, kettle corn. It's basically candy corn with like um um it's like with a drizzle. Like it has a um like a, a frosting drizzle, you know, kinda like a whatever you drizzle stuff with. I don't even know what what you call that, but it's a drizzle. There's like candy corn flavor. It's so ridiculously good. Like, I got this on, like, I think Thursday of last week. And, like, the majority of the bag is gone. But I love it. I know some people are like, if you like candy corn, we can't be friends. But this is bomb. Okay, so, <clears throat> my camera has been in my purse for the last two days. And I haven't really vlogged much because nothing really interesting has been happening. Until now. Because <laughs> I just got in a car accident. A little small one wasn't my fault this time um just a couple of months ago i actually rear-ended someone um but typically i um get hit in this car i don't know if it's something about my car which is a nissan murano and um like a couple of months after i got it i got side swiped took off like the um uh, rear view mirror on my driver's side um and then i was rear-ended twice and then um I just got kind of sideswiped. Apparently, the other driver was getting into the lane that I was in, and she didn't see me um, because I was in the lane. She thought I was like getting into the same lane as her, but I was in the same lane the entire time. So um, she, I think, just kind of misjudged the space she had, and so she kind of, kind of got me at the front um, on my passenger side. Nothing huge, but yeah. Something interesting happened today. And so now we're waiting on the um, police to show up. Um, but yes, alrighty. Interesting, interesting day. How's your day going? Hopefully it went well today. Everything is good and no one hit you. All right, so um, finally home. Um, it's been quite an interesting day. I, um, you know, had to do the Target run after work and I went to Lowe's and um so now i finally home it's like right at seven o'clock so i just sat down um i got a salad here this is like the kind of salad in the bag you get everything um the ranch barbecue something something um that i get from target it's like four dollars comes with like everything in the bag and then i just added some um grilled chicken to it um so that's my dinner for tonight got my feet up don't talk about my socks. I like I, I hate walking barefoot. Um, and then so Grey's Anatomy is on. Um, so it's like Thursday night on ABC. Um, they have uh, Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and then How to Get Away with Murder with Viola Davis. It's like Shonda Rhimes night, and I'm here for it. This is about to be my new thursday night ritual um i actually have some red wine ready but i'm only gonna i'm gonna pull that out when scandal comes on just to be involved you know might as well 
So, um, yeah, you guys watching Scandal, you guys watching Grey's, um, by the time this vlog goes up, you guys can tell me how you liked all the shows and all of that. Let's talk, let's discuss. Um, I'm a huge Grey's fan, like, I love Grey's, been a fan for Grey, of Grey's for, like, ever. And I'm a super, uh, I'm super, super excited about how to get, get away with murder with Viola Davis. Just, I love her, so I love her. Uh, the fact that Shonda Rhimes is like all these shows on Thursday, so let's get into those. So yeah, that's my night. It's my Thursday night. I'm probably get some work done along the lines too, so some freelance stuff to do. So I'm gonna work on that as well. But yeah. Well, TGIF. It is Friday. We went to Canoba for lunch. Got a burrito, cold corn burrito. It's like the best thing ever. I actually prefer Cadoba over um, Chipotle, um, especially for burritos. I like Chipotle's bowls. I have the reasons for like all the different burritos places. Always something different from different places. Yeah, lunchtime on a Friday, uh, getting a burrito. This is why I'm fat. Let's keep eating burritos. Food is just so good. It's hard not to eat. Anyways, um, yeah, so. TGIF. I'm glad it's Friday. Not that I have like any uh, really fancy um, plans this weekend. Just um, chilling for the most part. Um, to clean up, wash clothes, do that domestic stuff that I really hate doing. FYI, like this is my burrito. Th this is why I'm fat. Look at this big old burrito. Like it's huge. And then the guy, like I got the pulled pork. And he was like, do you want barbecue sauce on it? And I was like, no, thank you. He's like, have you ever had it? No, I haven't. You got to try it. It's just so good. Here, take it. And it has like chocolate in it. Like, really? Barbecue sauce made with chocolate? You don't do that to me? He's like, I'm going to put some on the side. I was like, okay, you do that, sir. Because I don't really know how it's going to like meld with all my other, you know, um, flavors in my pulled pork burrito, which has the cilantro rice black beans, pulled pork, sour cream, lettuce, the corn salsa. I didn't get guacamole because they just really be wilding with the prices on the extra guacamole. It's like it's a dollar something. So, but this thing is huge. Look at this is huge. I'm not going to be able to eat this whole thing, but I'm going to show enough try. I lied. I ate it all. Barbecue sauce is okay, but what do you do? What do you do with yeah, I wouldn't have like wanted it on there anyway. It tastes good. It's like different, but I wouldn't have wanted it on my burrito. Home finally from work and all that, and um, it's right at about six o'clock, and um, so I don't have anything planned for tonight. Um, this weekend we might go. Well, we are going to look at dogs for adoption. I've been avoiding this day for years, like years. My son has always wanted a dog. But um, before I bought my house, I was like, you can't have dogs. We rent this house. Um, you know, the landlord says we can't have dogs, which he did. So I kind of held on to that one. So the first thing he said when we moved, it was like, so we can get a dog now? So we can get a dog now? Okay. Um, so he found this Pomeranian, but I'm not feeling a Pomeranian. I found two dogs today though that are up for adoption that I'm going to go look at tomorrow that we're going to go look at tomorrow in the morning um two little chihuahua chihuahua um mix dog little dogs he's like they look like yappy dogs I'm like yeah but it's little I need a lab dog I don't need anything big uh, I just I need something little like it's enough to have a whole nother breathing you know anything in the house other than me and my son as it is so um i was excited though today because my little nature box uh, sample came in um if you listen to any podcast hopefully you listen to mine which is the third shift show but um if you listen to like the read or brilliant idiots you've probably heard them you know because they're sponsored by this service called um, nature box which is basically a monthly subscription i need to find something for people to subscribe to because that's like you know the new black it's like get a subscription service and i'm a sucker for them i'm doula birch box all that so this particular one you get like these kind of healthy 
you know, snacks or whatever. So I'm a sucker. I was like, one day I was like, what is this nature box there I was talking about? So I went to go check it out. And um, so, yeah, so that came in today. Um, I already kind of tested this one out. It's the cinnamon swirl, kettle kernels, and coconut cashews. I don't like cashews, so maybe bring that to work. Maybe somebody want that. And then sea salt, sun crunch. Try these. They're pretty good. Um, and then this is a golden tomato, a garden tomato um, crunchies. Mm, tomato flavored almonds. I don't think I'm gonna like that. But we'll try. I'll try anything. <laughs> well, not everything, but most things I'll try at least once. And then um, dark cocoa nom noms. That I like the name just because it's nom noms. Who doesn't like a nom nom? Um, yeah. So it should be an interesting. I have a picture of it. I have a picture, but you can kind of see through it. It's like a little oat shoe. Cute little thing. One piece is. 100 calories though. One little cookie is 100 calories, so you can't have a whole lot of that. Um, anyways, oh, and then, um, yeah, you see that? Mm hmm. I'm rich, bitch. I got money. That's my jury duty. Yes. Thank you, City of Bad Rouge, for my $14. I sat in the room and watched two movies in red for $14. But I still get my work money and I got paid. So it was an extra $14. That covered the gas. Because the mileage that they gave me, which was like $2, definitely does not cover the gas it took to go downtown from where I live. That is a 25 minute drive. You can give me $2. Hmm. Anyways, man, it's $14 didn't have. So now I got $14. So you go put that in my bank account. It's gonna ball out. With my $14. That's a good drink. Treat yourself to a drink somewhere. Good happy hour. Two for one. Ball out. Yeah. We do that. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Saturday morning. We are headed to the dog place to go see these dogs. Hopefully, we'll find one that me and my son can agree on. I'd like to have a new puppy soon. So, I'm going to go check these out. See if we can add another dog to the family. You know, they just just the dog. We'd have to get her a little kennel. Little playpen thing. Okay, so we're at the um, we're at the Pet Smart, getting things for our new puppy. As you can see, I got food, a collar, and a shoe toy. Her name is Roxy. She's a girl, and so we gotta find some stuff for her. She's just four months old, so we gotta get her some stuff. So my son is in here with his girlfriend somewhere looking for treats and then I am looking at chew toys and stuff. They have like little um it's called babies home res or puppies are us like isn't that ingenious? That's cute. It's a cute brand. I would have never thought of that but because I never was trying to get a dog but now that I have one and it's a puppy this is so cute. Look at all these little cute toys for baby puppies. Hey guys, Sunday's here. Who that? Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Sunday, it's been a pretty chill day. Didn't do anything last night, you know, just kind of getting Roxy um, adjusted to her new home. And we put her in the kennel uh, that, it was like a big kennel in our attic that someone had left and so we pulled that out and i didn't realize that, that it was like so big it was really really big and i don't think she really cared for it too much um and she cried oh it was so hard it was so hard to just leave her in there but it's got a trainer so we put her in there she's been making a couple of messes here and there but we're getting her adjusted to you know 
pooping outside and, and stuff like that. And, you know, you notice that she kind of sniffs around the um, dining room area, which is where she first pooped. <laughs> so, um, she keeps coming back to that. So, whenever I see her sniffing around and looking like she's about to squat, I say, come on, squat outside. Um, so, she's um, actually gone outside like three times and, and done it outside. And we've rewarded her with her little treats and her little milk bone things. Um, um, yeah, she's like full right now already. She just, just wants to lay in your lap and sleep. It's pretty much all she wants to do. But she's just a puppy. She's a little sweet girl. So, she's gone right now. My son took her to um, his girlfriend's house. Yeah, just don't ask. Um... But yeah, so she, they are over there hanging out. And then, um, so I just ran some errands, went to Target, got her a dog tag, um, got her a little, some more little accessories, got her a little harness, little pink harness and like the retractable um, leash and a little pink collar because she has like a black one now. So we want to make her cute and pink. And then some poopy bags, of course. And then, like, dog shampoo. Of course, I had to get dog, dry shampoo for dogs. Pet head, I heart pet head. Like, pet head, cute stuff. So, I got that. And um, a little lunch. Got some broccoli cheddar soup. The Panera. Oh, it's, like, my favorite. I just love this stuff. It's so good. But this is, like, I've never had it from Target or, you know, the they're branded. Like, you can just buy it in the grocery store. So... Um, I got that um, just because I had a taste for it and it's actually very good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so I'm about to... This is my Keurig that I love so much. I'm about to make me some peach iced tea. Yep. In my red Solo cup. I live by Solo cups or whatever. So I'm going to make me some tea and um, chill out. Yeah, deal. Yeah. 